um, your latest piece, or the last one I saw anyway, was um, on Nick Hanauer and yep. the Pitchfork piece that he wrote, which was kind of uh, kind of an awesome piece, and I really liked your response to it. To it. Tell us a little bit about Nick Hanauer, if you don't mind. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not familiar with him prior to this piece, I have to admit, but he, he wrote this, it's in uh, the Politico magazine, I think, um, which is about, I mean, basically what he's doing is making a self-interested pitch to his fellow uh, zero, zero, one percenters and saying, look, you know, you, if, you, if you don't care about particularly the middle class, but I think he also talks about the poor, but I think the middle class is the real self-interested uh, piece of this for these, you know, vastly wealthy billionaires that, you know, number one, it's not good for business because these, you know, the fewer, the, the less money people have to spend on goods, you know, the old Henry Ford um, uh, trope in which he said that he wanted to pay his workers enough so that they could buy his product. That he, right. he resurrects that whole idea. And then he also just talks about the fact that, look, if you push this stuff too far, history has shown over and over and over again that uh, there will be a reaction among the people, and it rarely ends well for, for those at the very top. I mean, sure, the, the, the top resurrects itself eventually. Capitalism inevitably leads that way without some form of uh, mediation and regulation. But um, at the time, whoever happens to be sitting there at the moment... Uh, doesn't do very well. So he's kind of, and that's why, where the pitchforks idea comes in, which is that he says, you know, watch out. You know, they are, the pitchforks will be coming after you. And I've thought from the, from the beginning of the financial crisis, one of the things that absolutely astonished me was the inability of these people at the top to kind of see that, to understand that it was not in, it was not even in their own best interest to, you know, somehow or another come out and try and mitigate the damage. And instead they did the opposite. And in fact, whined and moaned and cried about how uh, misunderstood they were. And yeah, you remember, I mean, even President Obama oh, said yeah. one little thing, you know, he said, called them fat cats once. And they absolutely right. lost their, you know, lost their minds. So, I mean, I've wondered about this from the very beginning. And this is the first piece I've seen where you have someone of that class actually making the case which seemed to me the obvious thing for these guys to do after what had happened in 2008 and you know the 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 near collapse in the in the the terrible economy that subsequently um, everyone's been enduring except for them and the fact that this was going to become a glaringly obvious to anybody and that they needed to mitigate it. So my, 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 you know, assumption is that these guys just aren't as smart as, <laughs> smart as they think they are because that's a very well, dumb thing to do. 